Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for March 5th through the 11th. Usually my readings are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up. First we are going to get an oracle card, and then we are going to break right into the tarot deck. Well, there's your card. Appreciation. Are you being appreciated? Or do you need to appreciate somebody? Could go either way, right? Freedom, liberation, excitement, a new discovery. Moving away, moving away to some place that is, is much more peaceful, bringing peace back to your life. It's time to take the next step and free myself from the restrictions. I'm ready to go down a new path and be happy. I think that you guys are changing your intentions. You're setting clear intentions. Making a clear choice to move on. To bring stability and security back to your life. It's time for me to bring security and stability back to my life. All I want is peace and happiness. I can't, I can't sit here and pretend that everything is okay. That I'm happy. when I'm not and it feels as though you guys are freeing yourself from so, some sort of obsession that was wasn't wasn't bringing you fulfillment it was like it was a false obsession it was a false beginning it was a false happiness it was an illusion and now I see the illusion and I'm looking for stability and security here. I'm ready for a change. I'm ready for this new adventure. And it appears that you're very passionate about this newfound happiness that this new path, I think there's a new road, a new path that's opening up in front of you that is very exciting. 
and you know it feels as though there had been a loss of concentration a loss of focus a lack of organization and a little bit of, a little bit of chaos so with this chaos has come this Relief from chaos brings some sort of relief. It's like a blessing in disguise, even though the tower's not here. Because it, it appears that there's some kind of ties that are being severed that brought chaos, that brought disorganization. And now that they've been severed, or you're severing them, it's a huge relief. I'm relieved. And now I'm in no hurry. I'm in no hurry to get stuck again. I'm looking for happiness. I'm looking for practical. I'm looking to take the practical approach. Because Right now, I realize what's true and what's not. I realize what I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for. And I'm no, in, in no hurry to receive only chaos, greed. False beginnings, illusions, conflicts, tension. I release that. I'm releasing all of that from my life and focusing on the future now. And I feel like you have come to the point where you realize exactly what you're looking for, what your goals are, and you're in no hurry to get them. I don't care if it takes forever. I know what I want and I am not going to rush into anything. It appears it appears that you guys are severing some sort of ties that had made you unhappy and now that you have done that peace and harmony and stability and security and clarity and freedom come back it's like I feel this is like a liberation I'm very I feel very liberated at this time yeah you're patient it's like I'm going to be patient I'm going to be patient and wait for this this new uh, opportunity to present itself it feels as though you're at a crossroads in your life you're at a crossroads that is very exciting. It is. You're at an exciting, you have an exciting new path unfolding right in front of you. And I feel like you're just, you're on cloud nine. It feels like you're on cloud nine. You're very excited. It's like you're, you're ready to, to jump. I'm ready to run. I'm ready to go. I see a lot of excitement, a lot of passion within you, but it's not a impulsive passion. Do you know what I mean? It isn't. It's like you have a lot of passion, a lot of excitement. You know where you're going. You know what you're looking for. You're on the right path. You're headed down a new path, okay? But I don't see that you guys making the wrong decision by rushing into anything without thinking. No, no. I know what my future holds, and I'm sticking it out. It appears that it's a time of cooperation, renewal, healing, and purpose. It's a time of purpose. I know, I know what my purpose is. You've been in a state of lack. Deserving more. 
deserving more appreciation. Appreciating yourself. I demand to be appreciated. You should be appreciated. You deserve to be appreciated. And if you aren't appreciated, then you're not in the right spot. And it feels as though you guys are being patient in regards to what you deserve. You may have just rejected an offer because of lack of appreciation. And that is increased appreciation, this is. No kidding. This is about togetherness. This is about working together. I will wait. I will do whatever possible to bring togetherness to my life. And work very hard at a relationship when there is mutual respect and appreciation. I think you guys are coming out of a period of darkness, seeing the light, and taking action that leads to a lot of excitement. You're accepting challenges, taking risks, but in a very good way. And I see a lot of, I think this is self-love self-love I love myself enough to know what I deserve I deserve respect and appreciation because I have that to offer there's absolute clarity here there is I know and I feel that you guys have this personal freedom based on that clarity of knowing exactly what you're looking for. I see there's been a time of unhappiness. There's been a time of hurt and struggle. And I feel like you guys have come to this conclusion that it's time to release that, not hold on to it, and move on. And as you move on, it brings peace and harmony to your life pretty quickly, makes you happy, and allows new roads to open right in front of you. I see that there's a new, you're at a crossroads, and you're about to go down a new path. And it's an exciting new path. It's like there's an exciting new discovery right here in front of you. You could be receiving a new opportunity that's super exciting. And it's right up your alley. I think you're going through, so, there's been some kind of spiritual breakthrough. Oh my goodness. And it feels like you're back on top. You're on top, Scorpio. There could be, there's a new beginning. There's a new exciting beginning that leads to love and excitement and growth. So you have a new beginning right in front of you, right in front of you. That's very, very passionate. There's a passionate new beginning where you're on top. And it's because that you're standing up for yourself. You're standing your ground. You know what you deserve. And when you know what you deserve, you get what you deserve. Because you won't stand for anything less. And because there's this clarity of knowing, you're going to get what you deserve, or you are. <laughs> Two sevens. Seven is the number from heaven. It's a divine connection. 
but you have a divine connection. You guys are headed in the right direction very, very, very quickly. Very quickly. I think it's away from deceit. There's been some sort of deceit, deceit and lies that you are freeing yourself from. Maybe it's a past relationship. You are, you're making something final. You're letting it be final. It's over. I'm freeing myself from these lies, from this deceit, from this trickery, this sneakiness. I think there's been some sort of break in a relationship, break in deceit that has allowed you or opened your eyes to do the right thing for you. I see you doing the right thing, releasing a heaviness. That doesn't serve you, just letting it go. And as you let it go, victory and success and, and triumph comes into your life. It's like you're heading in the right direction. You master your emotions. You take over and everything falls right into place. You accept the struggle and let go. Could have been a third party situation. We have these threes. I thought it earlier with the two threes that are under here, but I didn't say it, but now I'm gonna. You could have been in a third party situation where somebody is removing themselves from this situation. And maybe it's you. And this could be an old relationship. Where you finally remove the chains. You finally remove the the cord. You cut the cord. And it brings, it, it brings about liberation. And I feel like now you, the focus that you have put into the future is paying off. You're closing some door. You're closing a door. Nines are closer. You're closing a door. And it has not been an impulsive closure. You've taken the time to think about it. And now you come to the conclusion that you know what's best for you. You set the intention. And it is what it is. It's like you know there's no wavering here. It was some there was some lies. That you are freeing yourself from. I am removing this drama from my life once and for all and as you remove that drama your vibration raises okay and this is like a Jesus consciousness it is the hermit it's a Jesus consciousness where you take the time to step back and focus on what's best for you and that's what's happened here your focus has enlightened you to a point where you are now going to receive blessings Scorpio So it appears to me that you are going to get exactly what you deserve and nothing less because of the hard work that you have put into setting clear intentions and removing debris from your life. It looks to me like there are new exciting opportunities unfolding right in front of you that bring peace, harmony, and happiness to your life. And it's because of the decisions that you've made. Sorry, I didn't zoom that in. Appreciation. Choosing gratitude. This card shows a woman holding a single rose. 
She enjoys the scent and beauty of a single blossom. Like I said, you're in no rush. Yet around and behind her are bramble bushes. She could be focusing on these, worried that she might get she could be focusing on these, worried that she might get caught up in their prickly branches or difficulty. Instead, she's pausing to experience the blessing of this single flower. This reiterates the beginning of the reading. Wow. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice and on the tiny buds waiting to open up. This card upright is telling you that you have much to be grateful for. And like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card, there is more to come that you can't see. Congratulate yourself for every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value. It is guaranteed to bring you more worth and richness of life to you. This is exactly what's going on. You are receiving what you deserve. Congratulations. Talk to you next time.